Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another stream day. It's Wednesday, my dudes. I really should have workshopped a better intro for this. <laughs> We're back with more Valheim, and I'm excited to announce it later this afternoon. For us back with part two of our Two Point Hospital sponsored, hashtag sponsored playthrough. Uh, today, in Valheim, we're going to be attempting the fourth boss. If you've been watching earlier, you might remember that we did a bunch of prep. We found the boss's location. We've got the eggs. We died. Let's just ignore that. We're just going to ignore the fact that we died. But we've um, since recovered all of our stuff, and we should be ready to just jump right on into it. But I do think it might be important to maybe have a little bit of a warm-up kind of a warm-up activity should we do? How does one warm up for a boss? Let's go find a troll. <laughs> Let's go find a troll. I think I think that's a good idea. Or, ooh, we could go fight some more goblins in the plains. Yeah, let's warm up with some death mosquitoes. Maybe we can craft ourselves some more of those fancy arrows. There we go. So yeah, let's we'll leave ourselves some room for a little bit of activities. But good morning, everybody. Good morning and welcome. You're having just a fantastic day. So glad you're here. It's your first time seeing me live. Welcome. How are you today? Hello, Basil. Hello, thing one of two C. All right, so let's go to our adventure portal. Which is... Alright, oh, it's here. Um, I don't need to move this workbench. We'll figure it out. Good morning, Yandolf. Oh, are you destroying my portal? It's so rude. So I know we've joked about it, but I wonder if this is... I wonder if this is the location of our... Our new base. Oh wait, no, it wasn't here, right? It was... Down there. Oh, I didn't leave a portal. Oh well. No, I don't want to move again. That's silly. Okay, there's a death mosquito. This is all part of the warm-up, right? You can't miss. Oh. It's like art. All right, where'd that stinger go? Good morning, Brooke. Oh no! I looked at chat and now I'm gonna die. Oh god, I hate these things so much. Come on. Ugh. Ugh. Aha! I got that one. It poked me anyways, but I got it. Good morning, Zergen. Hope you all recovered from being in the two-point hospital yesterday. Very good. Alright, so here's here's our warm-up. Our warm-up is going to be to fight one of these. Because it's big, it has a lot of hit points, it hits like a truck. We have to use our brain. And if it touches us, we die. You know, like a boss. We're watching a streamer hitting Sparky for billions of points of damage. Are you watching Amazonian? Azershock? I saw her tweet about doing like... 8 billion damage or something like that. I don't know if she was bullying Sparky, though. Alright, let's see if I can't... Our 
our spear back. Oh! See, this is why we're practicing. This is why we're practicing. God. Its head started rolling towards me, and I thought another one was there, and I was going to die. Oh, man. Uh, is it nighttime? We've got 30 minutes with the latest attack. Sorry, that means it's taking 30 minutes for the attack to resolve because so much is happening. The computer's trying to process. Incredible. What happened here? Looks like a grayling got stung to death by de a death mosquito. This looks. Ah! Play the computer because the computer won't concede. Kind of a weird flex, but all right, you know. I understand. I thought that was a pretty good warm-up. Got to have a fight. We got to, like, mechanics under our feet. I feel ready to take on this boss. Let's get the good stuff, though. Oh, jeez, my inventory's full. Have I found the boss? Yep. It's all going according to plan. Wait, technically this is a brown leather. So it should be in this box. How many of these stingers do I have? Eight. That's actually perfect. Then we want a bunch of feathers here. That should let us craft 20 more of these. Or 40 more of these, pardon me. have a lot of status arrows. What if I how much it costs to make poison arrows? Obsidian and wait, is it literally just a better obsidian arrow? Wow it is. Obsidian feathers, ooze and wood. I have all those things. Obsidian feathers, ooze and wood. Let's, uh, let's get some good arrows going here. And it's, um, swamp enemy. And this seems like a no-brainer. These seem really strong. those back. an extra frost potion as well, just in case. Ah, uh, drowned on the other side of the world. That honks. Been there. Lost all my stuff. I know your pain.
Where are my potions? Ah, yes, they're up here. All right. All right. Let's go prepare for this. Obsidian Minecraft or Obsidian Valheim, which is more valuable? That's a good question. Obsidian and Minecraft is very interesting. Because I wouldn't... Oh, miserable day to fight a boss. Because I wouldn't say it's valuable or not valuable. It's just chonky. Right? It's like the most solid block in the game. It's got a lot of very interesting applications, but very like niche applications. But arrows, arrows are always good. Do I want to fight this thing in the snow? I think it'd just be more epic. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I think it's fitting. All right, let's uh, let's get ready to try this out. Boss time. To make a boss omelet, you have to smash a few boss eggs. It's a flying boss, isn't it? Bad start. Oh. Oh my goodness, that's really cool. This is really interesting. Oh no, not helpers. Okay, there being ads is kind of a giant pain. got hit. So we got hit by frost, even with frost resistance on, and then we couldn't move. This fight looks extremely pretty. Asterix looked. <laughs> That's really funny. Okay. Are the ads a planned part of the fight? Or did I just kind of get unlucky there with uh, some new friends showing up? Not sure if she summons them or if the noise just attracted them. Right, okay. Yeah, having a tough moment there. When their attacks aren't synchronized like that, and you're also trying to manage stamina, I find it very difficult to find a chance. Because, like, 
I'm not very good at hitting moving targets either. So I found in that particular instance of just like multiple ranged enemies. Oh, and I have my... Can't use our sprinting god right now to do our corpse run. Wrong portal. Oh, I need to... Up we'll update, bleh, update the spreadsheet after. Very aggressive. <clears throat> Just don't mind me. Just getting dressed over here. <clears throat> no reason for you to do anything at all. Hey, what's up, goat? Are they stuck? Oh my goodness. <clears throat> They might be stuck. I'll accept it. You know what? I'll take it. Are you eating? What's happening? <clears throat> They're on the ground. Kind of look like a bat. Ah, that's a damage phase. Okay. Ah, let's keep with the poison arrows. A gentle reminder, friends. Not looking for too much advice, and if I am... Looking for advice, I'll typically ask it. Ask for it, pardon me. The, the gentle reminder. Watching the streamer. Oh, are they going to go eat the nest there? Okay, you know what? Maybe I won't, maybe I won't go mess with you up there. How is my bow already at half durability? What? Bow skill improved, good stuff. The only advice you accept is just do it. There we go. See, that's good advice. Oh, I apologize, Dragon King. This is an awkward... This must be really awkward for you to watch. I looked like that attack hit, but it, like, didn't register. Um, um, what, what is happening in the sky? That's a weird effect. Yo. That's cool as heck. Why are you looking up? Gamers never look up. Well, look at the sky. Everything is getting pulled up. Like, look at the snow particles on the ground. Like, that's just a really cool effect, right? Brought a hundred arrows and it might not be enough. Okay. Well, this fight is a little bit easier with this ground phase.
boss seems to be having some pathing issues when it's on the ground. Or we're not asking any questions while it's grounded. Nah, I thought about it. And then last time I did that, it had a it had a frost attack, which I didn't really want to mess with. So. Help. No, not now, game. Don't. The auto save in this game. How many bosses are in this game so far? There are five. Only. I think there's a fifth boss? Rumor tells of the fifth boss. Make sense that there's a planes boss? Maybe. I don't know. It could be either one, right? Looks like I need... We'll need to upgrade our bow. Get a bit more durability. Maybe we'll grab the next one. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Maybe instead of upgrading the bow, we end up farming the planes for a bit and try and get all kitted out with the, the black metal. You have to throw up the horns every time you say black metal. That's just the law. Wasting our precious arrows and durability on the, uh, the ice crystals in front of it. That's three. I think of the six arrows I shot, I hit one. All right. Well, our bow broke. Let's go ask it a question, Twitch chat. I'm in the boss. I'm in the boss. Molder in tears. Wow. GG. That was not bad. That was not bad at all. I don't have a bow anymore. Appreciate it if you left me alone. Hey, Kazman, thank you for 100 bits. Amazing fight grade job. Okay. Thought that went pretty well. Heck yeah! Wonder what power mum gives us a great question. Let's go find out. I'm trying to leave. Being very rude. So, I suppose the next thing we need to do is sail home. Well, first off, let's offer let's offer the head as tribute, which is a weird thing to say, but that's what we do. Uh, second thing we need to do is figure out what the game... Wait. Drake trophy and motor trophy. Okay. Did we get any cool new recipes out of this stuff? It, it looked like we got a new crafting table. It was like the artisan table, is that right? 
crafting. Yeah, okay, the artisan table. Oh, wow, look how fancy this thing is, chat. Blast furnace, windmill, what? Windmill requires iron nails, wood, and stone. Okay. The spinning wheel also requires... Okay. Circling course, five, and iron. Wow. Okay, so we do still need iron. So I'm going to need 10, 13, 14, at least 14 more iron. How are we doing for iron? Are we still iron rich? Oh, okay, good. Good. See, this is why we... That's why I did a bunch of extra stuff. So this is for... This looks like a, um, a crafting bench. A fancy helmet? Drake helmet. Requires two Drake trophies elaborate and finely crafted helmet. Armor of 20? Yo! What? That's huge! Uh, it requires 20 silver, though. That's gonna be a problem. Okay. Requires 20 silver. So, uh, it looks like we're actually going to need to find a source of silver to bring back to our boat, anyways. Is our boat's, like, here-ish? So we need we need to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of mining, a little bit of mining, a little bit of crafting. <clears throat> Get ourselves a little bit geared out here. All right, let's go hang up this uh, this boss head and see what it offers us. You're so excited when the merchant randomly popped up on my map when exploring. No fair. Always tailwind when sailing? Yes, yo. We had asked for this earlier. Remember how we were hoping that there was a boss or like some kind of reward that just made sailing easier? Oh man, that's awesome. That's so good. I am really excited about that. Night's about to fall, so let's just take a second here and try and grab ourselves some berries. That's rad. Why would we sail? We already found the merchant. Ah, we still have places to go. Berries? That's mega useful. No longer will we be at the mercy of the wind. You just hit forward and boat goes forward. Seems dece. Berries? Unlucky. Now we make our own win. Your day's going particularly well. Got good lunch. A snuggly bird. A 
snuggly bird. Bird snuggle? I mean, don't imagine you're lying. Interesting. All right, we struck out on berries. That's fine. This area is so cool. Am I going up the mountain today? Yeah, yes. Yes, I am. Let's go put on our mining shoes. Yeah, let's chill out. Let's get some mining done. Um, right, why'd I do that? Jeez, we need fine wood. That's fine. There's like fine wood for days. Fine wood for absolute days in the plains biome. All right, so first order of business, we need to find a silver vein. And... Ideally, maybe even two silver veins. So we'll mark both of those, and then we'll get those. Maybe we'll kill some drakes while they fight us, because it'd be nice to get a second drake trophy. We've killed like 20 or 30 drakes, and we only have one trophy. Which is not great. Uh, and then we're going to spend some time in the plains and try and get the... I get the goblins on farming sense here. Farming duty, maybe, is a better way to describe it. <clears throat> uh huh. Good start. And drop a trophy. Oh man. How great would that have been? Nice! Wow, that was easy. Alright, um so let's locate a second one. We probably want to go... Actually, if possible, let's try and go closer to where our boat is, right? So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and explore it like the foot of the mountain. Oh, how did I miss that shot? There we go. Trophy? The wishbone also works in mountains? I I almost feel as though it's designed for the mountain, because it's the only way you can find silver. Silver is only located underground, which is what I figure what the wishbone is for. Alright, silver, where are you at? Around here would be perfect, because we're getting closer and closer to our boat. Any late game players 
Struggling with fueling goblin totems. Yeah. No idea. Wow, no silver? No, one hit point. It's a whole third arrow. Fourth arrow I have to use now. It's like, do I not have the wishbone equipped? What's going on here? The folks on my server have been using the wishbone almost exclusively to hunt for iron. Huh. That's so interesting because I, I immediately went to like, ah, this is the tool to find like the next tier. Have to make finding the previous tier easier. Cool though. Glad they're getting value out of it. Is silver like really rare or am I just really unlucky? What's happening here? Yeah, I don't want it to be at the top of the mountain, though. Can you imagine having to walk that distance every time? Missed. But you didn't die. I don't know if it's always at the top of the mountain. Like, we found some there, but my obviously false understanding would be there's an equal chance to find it anywhere in the biome, which is why I'm trying to search at the foot of the mountain, the base of the mountain. I mean, I have portals on both sides. I just don't want to have to walk. <laughs> work, work smarter, not harder, Twitch chat. We're trying to find, you know, as close to our boat as possible. I feel like we're getting quite unlucky here. You've only found it at high altitudes. Huh. Now, mind you, if I had just started mining, I'd have a full inventory by now. Well, let's see. Maybe the scouting's worth it. Maybe it's not. I'm just going to say we're really unlucky. Just watch right over right over there we're going to find silver. Oh, well, let me try turning it on and off again. Perfect. We just had to we just had to reset the connection. It runs on Wi-Fi, and you know how spotty that can get at mountains.
Is this thing on? Unlucky. Wow, that silver joke. Not being able to find silver is aggravating. <laughs> All things being equal, I'd prefer to search for silver where there's heat and indoor plumbing. Lies. Hello, skeletons. I'll take up my lack of silver frustrations on you. Ooh, a chest. What we got? All right, well, it looks like the uh, long walk is our only option here. Wait. Yes! All right. Is that any closer? Uh, whatever, let's mine it. It hits good! Is silver in big veins like copper or is it in chunks? I don't know. Can silver go through portals? Sure can't. So what we have is we have our boat down here. We have a portal here, but we also have a portal up top. So the plan is we carry it down the mountain, but then portal to the top of the mountain. So we, it's only, we're only walking it one way. Which, still not great, but you know... Better than the alternative of having to walk back up the mountain. Can bicycle mean different things in different languages? In the English language. I got a capture where they asked me to mark bicycles, but there are only cars and scooters. That's a little weird. I mean, I would personally, if it was like two wheels, 
mark like a scooter and be like, you know what? You tried. Or maybe it's one of those ones where it wants you literally to pick zero to see if you're paying attention. You're like, there's none? It's like, ah, very good. None of the above. The worst possible answer. Yeah, pro tip, if you're ever doing a this or that, please never include both. <laughs> what, what, what is happening here? These rocks are so confused. All right, let's try mining out in a couple of different directions here. Love a backpack for this game? Oh, I imagine. I imagine that's on their radar. Yeah, you can't possibly be the first person who's asked for that. See, I don't see, I don't want a backpack. What I want is a character screen. So that the gear, like the armor that you're wearing, doesn't take up inventory slots. I think that's an elegant way to give you three more. That's basically another row in your inventory right there. All right, how are we doing here? Got 22. There more silver here? Oh yeah, there's lots more silver here. Um my inventory is perfectly full. Alright, so let's run down the hill to the boat. Drop everything off, and then uh do this all over again. So now that we've located two silver things though, I think I will mine out this one first. Or see what I did there? That's a mining joke. Or I'll, um, maybe bring another portal? Nah. Odin just told the Viking you look tired. Vikings is like, Odin, could you not? This one's going to drop a trophy. What? I'm for one. I for one am shocked. Cool joke streamer. Thank you. Circus of Kirkus. Thank you. This is uh, quite the trek back to our boat. Cool, because you're on a mountain, get it? Oh no. Oh, no. Yeah, 
Can't sneak up on me. Too fast. Can I park closer? Maybe? Not really? Not without having to move my car. My car. Not without having to move my boat. Oh, this is bad. I'm drowning and being stabbed to death by a mosquito? At the same time? Uh, not without putting our boat at risk. James! Hey, what's up, friends? Welcome, pit crew. Welcome to some cozy Valheim. You just missed us fighting and valiantly defeating the fourth boss. And now we're just in a little bit of chill gearing up. We're going to get some silver. And we're going to go to the plains biome. And we're going to get ourselves some black metal. Sorry, black metal. You have to throw up the horns every time you say it. So yeah, welcome to just like hanging out and mining and resource gathering, you know, all those, all those cozy chill things. How was your hole digging, James? I was watching a little bit earlier. You said some things about potions that I really think you should take back. I really think you should rethink. Oh, we have a decorative egg we can bring back with us too. You didn't dig much today? I... I saw you re-gearing, and I also saw you pop a totem of undying. So I imagine today things went poorly, but I don't have the details. Spent half the stream dying? Did you die more than once? Asking for a friend. No? Okay. <laughs> uh... <clears throat> right on. Uh, Twitch.tv slash James underscore LRR. Wonderful friend. Wonderful human. Has this really bizarre fascination with digging holes. If you've ever wanted to spend hours engrossed watching a man dig a hole, can't recommend a channel more than Twitch.tv slash... Wait. Twitch.tv slash James underscore LRR. There you go. There's my, there's my endorsement. Ah, God. Surge says the man life's digging holes. I'm going to upgrade my pick. How do I do that? Iron pickaxe requires 20 iron and 2 core wood. Let's make a better one. Uh, core wood? Oh, I have a bunch of subs I have to read now. Don't I? All right. Oh, I should have checked the stats first. It's up to 250 durability, though. And that's awesome. All right. Uh, subs. The Lirm. Thank you very much for 13 months. Paul Plays Games. Thank you for four months. Pix. Thank you for 16. And Nagoki with five months. Today, I learned you can still spam sub messages for gifted subs. Ah. Code Gorilla. Thank you very much for 31. Really appreciate it, everybody. You won't be digging much tomorrow, and after Friday, he's taking a break from punching chunks. Right! Wow, season two's over. Sorry. <clears throat> what calendar? Season two ends Friday? Oh. How close did he get to the plan? Season one. Right, I apologize. Uh, Elanodul. Elanodul. Thank you for that prime in eight months. Does that mean Snurgebot? So if Snurgebot is linked to an account and somebody is behind that account, then yes, Snurge can also share resub messages. But a human would have to push the button. Or maybe not. Maybe maybe Snurge could be programmed to think. I don't know if we want to give Snurge that much power though. 
So yeah, uh, let me introduce you to our plan today. Our plan involves magically teleporting to a top of a mountain. Step one. Step two. Jump into this hole. Sorry. Uh, with a brief distraction of fighting a wolf. Discording Tonkin with 450 biddies. You can't eat more sausages. Challenge accepted. I know. I feel very judged every time the game is like, you should really lay off the meat there, Jaeger. And I'm like, whoa, whoa. I'm an adult. Decide the amount of meat I want to eat myself. Thank you very much. Odin feels very judgy in this game. Anyways, step two, we jump in this hole. Step three, we fill our inventory with silver iron. Uh, we have to fight this bird. We're also hoping these birds drop their heads so we can make a totally sweet hat. Yeah! Yeah! All right, never have to kill another one of those again. There is a rule in this game that if you're carrying metal ore, you can't teleport. So step four is we then walk down the mountain to the boat, put the boat in the metal, put the metal into the boat, and then we repeat until we're out of silver. That's a bird? Yes, if it has wings and it caws, it's a bird. There's a magic card called Frost Drake, right? What's the stat line on that thing? Isn't that like the classic 3 mana 2-2 two, two flyer? What is this, D&D Druid magic? Pretty much. Look, there's a long storied history. Oh, that's Wind Drake. Wind Drake, Frost Drake, same difference. Birds. Both of them are birds. Anyways, long storied history of the Fey and Metal not mixing particularly well. I'm going to assume that's why we can't take our metal ingots or ores through the magic portals. Both of those are winged lizards. A rock. Now that's a bird. Rock's still a bird. Doesn't make Frost Drake or Wind Drake any less a bird, though. Look, if a zombie can be a bear, then a Drake can be a bird. How are we doing? 21. Wow, everything in my inventory is so heavy. Have a good one, Bo Brinkman. Alright. You know what? Sure, I'll chop this tree down. Ah, uh, no, I don't actually care about the wood from that tree. Uh, one more? One more. Nope. There are no magic cards with frost in the name Frost Links. Frost Giant. That, I think that's just false. I think that's just provably false. Oh, there are no dragon cards with frost in the name. I, I apologize. Dragons. No frost dragons. Like frost titan, frost bite. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you're right. You're right, Pix. Look, I don't have time to read every word that somebody types in chat. Sometimes I guess and I, my brain auto-completes. And I guessed wrong. And in that case, I guessed wrong. I apologize. Alright. Down the mountain we go. Rinse and repeat. Reading the message explains the message. I don't have time to read. I'm 
I'm a very busy man. Got all this silver to carry. We're gonna have a fun making Surge's auto gas come up with funny things. I, that's basically been my brand on stream for three years. <laughs> like. <laughs> what do you mean a fun game? That's just what my channel is. Can you believe he hit that shot? Oh, so sad. Can you believe he hit this shot? So good at this game. Reading is for blockers. Yeah, reading chat is an admission of defeat. It's like, in the hierarchy of things I won't do... Reading chat is up there with uh, making potions in video games. What a waste of time. Ugh. I saw James talking earlier about wanting to do more potions in Minecraft. I'm like, really? I mean, you also spend a lot of time digging holes, so I'm not going to judge. But really? Potions and WoW beg to differ. Yep, don't use potions and WoW. I got, look, I've got my heal ability. Um, whatever that thing's called, exhilaration. And I got warlock cookies. And that's all I need. And I got a priest. Oh god, I hate these mosquitoes so much. Wow. That was like an Apex Legends shot there. Sliding down the hill. Curved an arrow over the rock to hit the mosquito. What's up, gamers? Seagull. I apologize. I need your feathers for more arrows. So last time we crossed this river, we almost died. I think we're safe. <clears throat> Is coffee a potion? It's a delicious, refreshing beverage. Made by artisans. Ugh. So many mosquitoes in the plains. Brown potion of wakefulness? Ugh. I've never heard anybody make coffee sound less appealing than having to be called the brown potion of wakefulness. Have I stumbled across Mistlands yet? Yep. We've explored a lot of the map. We've explored a lot of the map. All right, stone, wood. Heads. Nobody ask why we hide the heads under the under the you know the cupboards here. It's fine. It's perfectly. Hard. Where would you store your heads if not there? Hope they do something with the biome. So from what I have been told, I believe the game is planning to have ten biomes. Is that right? Somebody correct me if I'm wrong there, but I think that's what I heard. 
Like, they have so many plans for this game. So many plans. Big plans. This lands is one of the four steps in the release plan? Yeah. Yeah, reminder, this game is still only in early access. They have a lot of time, a lot of ambition, and a very solid game. Very solid game. Considering, like, how much game we have right now. Very cool. Gonna make that dragon hat now? I don't have enough silver. That's why we're mining silver. So the hat required two dragon heads, but also 20 ingots of silver. And uh, we don't have enough. Actually, hilariously, <laughs> by the time we get all the silver back, I'm probably, I might also be leaving that behind because I plan on farming a bunch of the next resource for, what's it called? Uh, black metal, right? You have to throw up the horns while I'm here as well. So we'll see. And they have a massive budget now. They've uh, certainly, they've certainly got a little of income right now, don't they? Oh, you know what I might do? I wonder if it'll depend on how big the updates are. Like if they're, you know, Minecraft size release versions or something like that. But I definitely plan on coming back to this game. What if we like... So option one is the new content comes out, which is going to be like House and Hearth, I thought they called it. Or maybe I just called it that because it rhymes or it has alliteration. What if we like skip that update, but the next time there's a mega update, we started from scratch as opposed to uh, keeping the same character <clears throat> and starting a new world. You know, you know what I mean? Oh, people are still playing when the full release comes? I think, I think it might be like a game like Satisfactory, right? Or even Minecraft, where you, you take breaks and you come back. Terraria is the same way. I don't know. There's like a very interesting model in games like this where as a player not not like as a developer releasing it but you just like what kind of story do you want to tell as you're playing do games even need full releases these days i mean as long as you've got enough of a game that people are having fun i think you're winning Spending another 15 hours merchant hunting. Oh, that sounds great. That's just 15 hours of content, Brooke. Yep. I didn't, didn't hurt me at all. He says, tears rolling down his face. I have a new plan. Check this out. You're going to be amazed at how smart this plan is. The plan does involve me getting out of this hole, though. There's all those beautiful rocks. Oh, I don't have any stamina. That was almost really spooky. We almost died to wolf. So let's mine out all the silver all at once while we're here, and then we'll take the um, we'll take the rocks back through the portal, so that we can make like a huge rock expansion to our base, which we're gonna want to do at some point anyways, right? Hey Dudson, thank you very much for 21 months. I don't have a witty thing, but yay for time. Thank you, friend.
The silver vein is the gift that just keeps on yeah, giving. Wow, this thing's huge. Anyone else see any more silver here? I like that it kind of snaked. I like that it had a very different shape. To copper, which is kind of like just a big plate. Oh, there is more copper. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. That means we can come back. So yeah, we uh, we do this. We run through, we dump all the stone. And rinse and repeat. Once you find the vein, does the wishbone tell you if there's more to it? I don't know. I don't know if it actually detects silver. So like if you miss a little chunk, if it'll tell you to come back, like I haven't really tested it or tried to like number crunch how it works. It's a magic wishbone that points to wealth. That points to riches. Magic. <laughs> Hand wavy magic. My favorite. In your experience, the wishbone stops pinging once you've tapped the vein. That's really cool. <clears throat> that means it's actually finding silver. Uh, I believe this is where James would say, back to the pit. How'd I do? Six out of ten? That's it? You don't feel rested anymore. You're feeling a little called out there, Malk. For the number of biomes, I went digging through the wiki and they have nine biomes listed with three of them demoted as not yet denoted as not yet developed. Oh, nine biomes for nine realms. Ah. Does nine include ocean? Or is it nine biomes that you can like land on? Ocean is one of them. Cool. So there's mist lands, which you can see right now. And I guess there's two that don't even have like a placeholder one. It's an interesting, it's an interesting inclusion to have the mist lands in your release, right? As opposed to like not having it exist at all. But then again, if it doesn't exist in your world and you add it, you probably run into the, uh, the Minecraft problem of, well, It'll only generate in, like, unexplored chunks or whatever. So you're... I guess what it does is it future-proofs, so you can have at least one new boss encounter. One new biome with fights without having to, uh, wipe everything. That's my guess. Deep North and Ashlands are the other two. Ashlands gives me Morrowind vibes, like mega Morrowind vibes. The intent is to keep current world gens? Yeah. I don't know. My, my expectation with early access is sometimes they're going to make a change. And you're just going to lose stuff. That's okay. Welcome, Ashlander. Feels good. I think this new plan's a good idea. Of just like mine everything up here. Glances at an upcoming Satisfactory 4 update. Yep. Yeah. They uh I've been I've been watching a lot of the dev diaries. They've been very active on their YouTube channel, like telling people what the changes are gonna be for the next upcoming Satisfactory, and they're like, yep, you're 
your late game factories are going to break. And I kind of like that. Valheim hit 4 million now? That's amazing. That's amazing. Good for them. Definitely sound like my, my boat just shattered. New satisfactory stuff looks rad. I know. Oh. This is awkward. If I go through the portal, I die. So here's what we have to do. We have to have five stone on us. How much is it for a fire? And two wood. Yeah, I wonder if I can find, I don't know, like a week of Fuji's time. <laughs> and then him and I can do a whole other playthrough, just checking out update four. You're freezing. You're dying. There we go. Turns out if you teleport to the top of a mountain while wet, you'll freeze to death. Isn't that exciting? Drop a quick fire there. Hoping to jump into your existing world and do a partial teardown. I think they're saying that... Is that, at the very least, nuclear. Like, everything's sort of at that tier, and, like, I think it was tier 6 and beyond? You're gonna have to basically redo. But at that point, I'd rather just restart. I think that's kind of fun, too. Be like, alright, what, what from our factory can we salvage? What from our factory... Not, sorry, not from our factory. What from our previous lessons that we've learned? Like, you had the opportunity to do something totally different. What would you do? Took you 18 streams? Oh, yeah! I mean, it took me 40 hours? Maybe 50 hours to get there? I don't know. I'd see, I don't, I don't see that as a loss. You know, because... Just because you're starting over doesn't mean you've lost your previous experience. Doesn't mean all the enjoyment you got from the previous time is gone. It's why, it's like why I, every time a new Minecraft update comes out, I'm like, yep, burn it down. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, I still remember Ben poking fun. It's like, hey, welcome to mine o'clock. We're going to do the same thing we always do because they added bees, <laughs> right? Or whatever. All right, um, let's check the belt here really quick. Yeah, check this out. Wishbone makes... N oh, I lied. Wishbone did make... Wishbone did make a noise. There's more here somewhere. Maybe there was another silver vein nearby? I don't even know. Hmm. All right, so let's leave this. What's the most amount? I wonder if I can do this in probably be three trips. I think I can carry 23. And we just carry it to the other one.
Is there anything I can get out of my inventory so that we can carry slightly more? Looks at 80 pounds of sausage. No, nah, it looks like it's impossible. This is, this is what we're working with. Remember when I had a fire here? What the heck? What? Why did my fire go out? What? But there's no, there's no rain. Make it a bonfire? Right. How to make those again? Fine wood? Oh, they're so expensive though. Hey, K2 Lowe's, thank you very much for 11 months in that prime. You're having a great day, friend. Bonfire it is. Needs more wood? No, it had three wood on it. It was doused from something. Ah! It doesn't even come pre-lit? Oh, man. Wasting so much time. Yeah, if you've assembled a fire and it's not lit, I have made a hearth. I've made a pit. Oh. So what happened there is the rain particles followed me when I teleported and doused our fire. That's what happened. Planeswalk and Gogo, thank you for 100 bonfire biddies. Gondor calls for aid. Alright, um, it's 420 pounds. Nice. So hold on. Let's, let's... Okay. Three trips. Oh, bleh. Yeah, we uh, we brought the weather with us through the portal, and it doused our fire. This is why you just world hop. Ah, fair enough. So the problem with world hopping that I'm imagining is. Don't you have to, like, unlock the progress? Oh, no, I guess you just bring the wishbone with you. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess if you want the god buff... God buff, pardon me. World hopping doesn't work, but otherwise... Just, like, run to the top of a mountain. Teleport away. Load back into your other world. <clears throat> but then you don't get to boat boat. And are you really a viking if you're not boating everywhere? I don't need to viking gate eat people. You enjoy the game the way you want to enjoy the game. Hello.
Log into another world, dump out your inventory, log back in, <clears throat> walk through portal. Oh! <laughs> oh, I understand. <clears throat> Use it as an intermediary. That's so funny. You're using a workaround to get through portals, right? So log into a different world, drop all the iron, log back in, walk through the portal, jump back through. Wow. That's kind of galaxy brain. Yeah, I'm not doing that. You're basically using another server as an ender chest. Yeah. That is quite the workaround, though. I guess the thing about that, too, is you can also get around encumbrance. You can just put all, like, 2,000 pounds of silver on you. And then just teleport back to the base. Dang. Thanks for bad TV, though. Probably a little. It's faster, but yeah. Way faster. I feel like we need to get just a little bit stronger to start reliably farming those things. Not much stronger, just a little bit. Like, I feel safe gathering most materials in the planes now. Gah! Strung like a fancy hat? No, it's uh, it's damage output, not not uh, tankiness that I'm worried about. I just don't feel like I'm hitting them quite hard enough to really stand toe to toe. It's interesting. The biggest difference I've noticed on anything defensively is actually a uh, shield like being able to parry an additional tier of enemy it's huge that's that's been a very big deal what's up dragon flare Is this the Valheim equivalent of, like, having another character in World of Warcraft just for banking? When you have so much wealth, you need to have multiple accounts to hoard it all? I'm, like, the richest I've ever been in World of Warcraft. I'm barely even playing all that much. I've just kind of, like, oopsed into... What am I sitting on? 300,000 gold or something like that? Which, for, you know, people who've played a lot of WoW is not a lot, but that's a lot for me. Three hundred thousand dollar dudes. All right, time for trip two. So I wonder if we even need. We even need to go back. And mine out that other spot because it looks like we're gonna have a boat. Somewhere between 80 and 100 silver on our boat. And that's got to be enough to last us for like the rest of the game. <laughs> they need another level of money for a while. I don't know. There's already like so much inflation in that game right now. That like letting people have more. I don't know. I don't know what problem we're solving at that point, right? Like, I do like that they don't even acknowledge... Do they even acknowledge silver and copper? 
in WoW anymore? Or is that just as like the the economy becomes so inflated that those numbers don't exist? <clears throat> Need a personal wealth max in the real world too? Agreed. I read an article that Elon Musk lost $15 billion last week. And it only dropped him down to being the second wealthiest person on the planet. And it was like, okay, cool. Sure, why not? Ugh. Introducing the long boy managed to remove a good chunk of gold from the game. Yeah. I was trying to I was trying to think about this the other day of like how much gold have I spent in World of Warcraft just from like flying places? Or even even more interesting would be like how much gold has been removed from the WoW economy through like flight points throughout the history of it, right? Because they have these very small drains as a way to just try and remove money. Oh my god, you throw spears? Only I get to throw spears, how dare you? Yeah, repairs are another great way to do it, because like... God, I, I must spend a couple thousand gold every time we raid. Because it's like, maybe not, maybe not that much. Because it's 80 gold, somewhere between 80 and 100 gold to fully repair every time we wipe. And when we were learning Heroic Denathrius this weekend, well, we probably had like 20 attempts or something like that. <gasps> Let people have bases in WoW? Eh. That's all I had to say. I remember like Guild Wars 2 introduced having bases. Final Fantasy 14 has the Guild Hall or whatever. And there's definitely a group of players who really enjoy that. That is that is not for me. All right, so when you bring down the last 20, we'll have... Oh, yeah, we're fine. Yeah, we don't need to mine anymore. This is this is plenty. <clears throat> Final Fantasy doesn't have a gold problem because quest rewards don't scale logarithmically with level. Yeah, when I do my... When I do, like, my daily quests in WoW, at the end of it, I get, like, 3,000 gold or something absurd. Like, really good money. Oh, right! WoW does have base building. It had like the, the garrisons and Draenor and stuff like that. You're totally right. All right, this is our last silver trip, and then we're going to hang out in the plains for a little bit and explore and see if we can't get ourselves some new and exciting and good stuff. Um, might be about time to do more stuff, I don't know. Did the garrison also make you money? I can't remember, I never played during Draenor. I did a little bit of Draenor content because I leveled up to 120 when BFA came out. That was miserable, God. Getting to 120 as a new player was miserable. Oh my god. But I digress. Um, so I'm never coming back here. Never coming back here. 
Are we ever coming back here? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say we're never, ever coming back here. It does have more silver. Yeah, but we'll find a mountain that's closer to our base, right? We don't want to have to sail to here every time we come back, right? Can't carry everything. What is the one I care about the most? Fine wood and the certling cores? That's fine. Have we beaten the boss? That was our warm-up activity. Yep. Boss 4 is dead. See, I put a big X on it. Drop the eyes. Eyes are needed for a portal. So I, I want these on me so that worst case scenario, I can make another portal. But like, I guess, I don't know. Core wood I'm not too worried about. Ancient wood it's fine. And I have all the fine wood on me. Certainly in cores we have on farm duty as well. So... I made the I think I made the correct choice. Hey, what's up, Mini Chi? How you doing, friend? Welcome. What a shot. Hello, Blue! How you doing, friend? Am I ready for the actual little farming that's available now? I've been kind of miserable so far. Growing carrots has not been enjoyable. I've watched CoStream. There's like bread or wheat or something that you can plant and then get a lighthouse, lighthouse windmill for crushing it. And I'm just like, ugh, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Just seems like a lot of work. Like a squadron. They're flying together. I hate it. I'm encumbered. How much do these needles weigh? They weigh a pound? Actually, at this point. Eat the eyes. Husband and I have decided to pull our children from daycare. Glad I'm a family-friendly streamer. Welcome. Welcome, friends. Oh, no, no, no! Well, I'm being attacked by mosquitoes is not great. No! I missed. Oh, I'm dead. God, I hate these things. Got it. Ugh. Ugh. Didn't that say Death Skeeto? Sure did. They don't mess around with the names here. What do they do? They, they kill you. 
Hello, Corvids. Hello, crow friends. Yes, I am, my love. Oh my god, yes, that sounds incredible. Joe has identified that noise as being a hungry, hungry hiccup. And said she's going to make me a grilled cheese sandwich. Lucky me. Alright, how are we doing here? Our inventory has enough room. <clears throat> Let's go drop off some stuff. With ketchup? Heck yeah, with ketchup. I'm part of ketchup gang for grilled cheeses. Come back for more stuff later. Leather goes in here. Resin goes into torches. <clears throat> Alright. So if we're going to fight things, let's grab some fire arrows. Let's see if we can't maybe... Let's see if we can't maybe get some more fur. Oh, and while we're in the plains, we can also get a ton of fine wood. So it's not boss home anymore, it's adventure, which is this one. I'm also going to move this table. It's kind of awkwardly placed. Perfect. Here I am trying to decide what to make for dinner. Wait. I'm trying to decide if I should make dinner now or after I get kids home from school. That's a tough one. <clears throat> oh, Joe with the galaxy brain. Do you have a slow cooker? So, oh. Ah, there's two of them. <clears throat> Pardon me. Making butter chicken. Oh, now I want curry. I wonder if Joe and I have a dinner plan tonight. Maybe tonight's curry night. I, I, could it be curry night, my love? What happens if I set this on fire? One second, sweetie. Wait, can I hire them to be an intern? Hello? Oh, oh, I blocked it. I can parry it? <laughs> Apparently I can't. All right, good talk. Parry God. Might be time to upgrade our gear. Well, we need to kill those things to upgrade our gear. 
because I've got um, I've got all the silver stuff right now. And we're trying to bring some other stuff back, but I figure before we absolutely leave, because I got a hundred silver in the boat, I'd also like to try and bring back. Oh, I probably should have waited until I actually had some health. Ah, whatever. Uh, I'm also going to try and bring back um, an amount of these materials. I lost track of my stamina in that fight, is where death came from. Right. Would I want to know if I missed something earlier? Uh, sure, why not? I mean, you could also just say you missed something earlier. Is there like another unlock in the mountain biome? Oh, yay, goblins! That's unbelievable! Oh yeah, we tanked that shot pretty well. These things don't hit hard, but have a ton of hit points. There's a better bow. Oh, I know there's a better bow. But when we looked at the stats, it didn't seem like a huge upgrade. For what we have versus the other difference there, it was like four points of damage or something like that. Like, looking at the actual raw numbers, the bow above this one didn't really seem worth. Unless I wanted to min-max absolutely everything, but when you look at the, like, the damage difference between... Or the armor difference between, like, silver and leather or whatever... Oops, I'm now fighting two at the same time. Maybe that other one won't still be mad at me. Alright, I'm just going to use a bow and arrow here. And miss. Yeah, the Draugr one. It has like a little bit of poison on it too. It's like, ah... I mean, if I have extra materials, but, like, I don't think I'm going to go out of my way to craft that one. Ow. Stamina. Really hope you can tame those things? Yep, you can. Yeah, you can tame boars, wolves, fox. Is there anything else you can tame in the game chat?
Can't tame sea serpents by feeding them fish. Oh, interesting. This thing hits like a truck, but the game said it didn't hit hard enough to break birch. That's hilarious. Are you really taming bees? Or are you just taking the same bees and moving them to your house? Is that not what taming is? Interesting. It moved. It's coming right for me. Ah, ran out of stamina. Oh no! Check out this shot. No. Oh. <laughs> God, I hate these things so much. Oh my goodness. I hit it with a hammer. It's the only thing I can do. To feel better about our situation. So what do you think? Worst enemy in the game or absolute worst enemy in the game? Bees provide resources and aren't mad about it. I'd say tamed. Where did you come from? I'm gonna die. Just need a little bit of extra health, please. All right, they throw spears. So let's go serpentine here. Aaron Blade Master, thank you for five gift subs. I'm gonna try really hard not to die. And we'll read that in just a second. Thank you for the generosity, friend. Oh, I'm at literal one hit point. Literal actual one hit point. Easiest way to distract Surge during a fight. You're not wrong. Oh, I'm not rested anymore. That's where my stamina's gone. Shoot, I forgot to block. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron Blademaster, thank you for gifting subs to Cat Card, Blue Devil Salad Cookies, The Freakazoid, and Fragile Paper. Appreciate it. Ah, we weren't rested. That, uh, that loss of stamina. Eat some honey and a berry. Go grab our body. Mm. Dying is kind of like resting, I guess so. I mean, we woke up well rested after death. What does that what does that tell us? What am I supposed to learn from that? Pardon me. 
Dying is the fastest teleportation. You teleport so fast you end up there naked. Because your items can't keep up. Those goblins are running around just murdering everything. Oh, I have to update the spreadsheet. Is that my first goblin death? All right, well, now that I have stamina, they'll pay. They will pay. Where are they? Hello? <clears throat> they got away. Have a good one, Argentum Flame. You're having a good day. Hmm. <clears throat> I do like the up oh, there you are. I do like the galaxy brain of watching a streamer you like. Like the baby brain tier is, you know, watching a streamer you like. And then the second tier is like buying the game that the streamer is playing because you like the game. And then the third tier is no longer watching the streamer so you don't get spoiled on the game the streamer introduced you to. That's that's the galaxy brain tier right there. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to do a little bit of a berry adventure here. Running low. Fill up our inventory on fine wood before we leave. Been there recently with Matt's Breath of the Wild streams. Good on Matt for like trying to 100% that game. That's really cool. All the shrines and all that stuff. Also, just good on Matt for, what is he at? 330 days streamed or whatever? Come back. There's also the step of not watching the streamer play the game because you've done too much and you know you'll backseat. That step never happens. Chat always backseats. <laughs> hey, what's up, Kutsune? Thank you for 31 months of button. Hope you're doing well, friend. <clears throat> All right, we're doing good. Oh, it's party time, everybody. Ready for it? Glitter! Yeah! Let's go! No, but no. <laughs> Real talk. I know Joe, for example, will uh, struggle in watching some Stardew players. He's like, you could buy more berries or whatever. I don't know. Shouts optimizations at the screen. Like, oh my god, Joe. You're partnered to a streamer. Backseating people. <laughs> Joe says she backseats in her own home. She doesn't have to be in chat. Wow. Wow. All right. I see. She points out it's no different for me shouting at sports on TV. All right, that's fair too. Joe shouts at Stardew Valley streamers like somebody shouts at a sports team. Wow. Come on, batter. <laughs> what do we pay you for? <laughs> oh, man. You call that farming? You said you wanted to be profitable. You're leaving money on the farm. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Speaking of starting, you're tempted to check out the board game. Board game is one of those things that I wish we were still able to go into the moon base for certain shows. Because you know... You know we'd probably be streaming that one. I love watching people play games I enjoy because I almost learn something new. Almost always learn something new. Heck yeah. All right. <clears throat> Is it berry time? I think it might be. I think it might be berry time. So let's uh, let's make ourselves some more obsidian arrows. And then let's uh, let's head through some of our older areas. with the goal of getting very rich. AFK is the reason you bought all these board games? Nice. A lot of time I watch games because I don't think I'd have time to play them yourself. That's fair too. You're gonna need more feathers as well. Sorry, seagulls. I always feel bad. But then again, I also need wood. Well, regardless of the reason of why you watch, I'm glad you're here, chat. Glad you're here. Wouldn't be nearly as fun to do this without y'all. I'm gonna replace this berry jam with 25 pounds of honey. Valheim is such a good game, right, Press 4? Right? All right, the Merchant, uh, God Circle, no, Camp Delta, where we want to be. Hold on. Amy is two and a half hours into the attack and literally just going out to the park to enjoy the day and the match is staying up? That's incredible. What is she doing to Arena? That's so funny, Azershock. What happened to Arena? Um, Amy is trying to see how much damage she can do. And she's doing so much damage, Arena is tanking without crashing. And last I checked, she was at like 8 billion or something like that. But apparently at that point, it was still calculating. <clears throat> Good on Sparky for not conceding though. Right? Like, that's... That's just good sportsmanship there from the AI. Letting the streamer play it out. So I've been reading some games on the success of Valheim. 
that a lot of people have been pointing to how it handles survival mechanics in a way that isn't as punishing as other games in the genre as to a part of the reason for the success. And I, I can't help but agree. Uh, some big things they point to are, one, there's no thirst. Two, you don't actually die from lack of food. So if you want to build for hours and, you know, aren't worried about falling to your death, or even if you are, there's like no punishment from that. So you can kind of just ignore the survival mechanic and chill for a bit, which sounds really cool. That's another point of the success. Um, and instant repair being the other one. And it's a way that like, it takes a lot of systems that already exist in the genre, but then deliver it in a way <clears throat> I don't know, it's still a survival game, but it's it's rewarding and less punishing. I have to dodge that attack, I believe. I thought that was neat. I thought that was very neat. Very insightful. Found an excellent balance between survival and fun. Takes the stress off it. Yeah, which is not to say that, you know, you can absolutely die or get stuck in a death loop. So there's there's challenge parts there. But they've taken a lot of these systems that a lot of other games have and taken the edge off it. Clever. He says, scrounging the forest for berries. I have to make jam. I don't even think it's the amount of content like obviously it's great that there's content here but like if the if the systems that this content was built on weren't also fun i don't think it'd be as successful one star troll can i pair you if you have a stick survey says yes parry god is back in business chat Tried to find bone mass last night and realized all your weapons were ineffective. I had the same realization and it sucked. Because I didn't really have enough resources. <clears throat> Pardon me. I didn't really have enough resources to correct it on the fly either. Yeah, bone mass was one of the first enemies I found that the weapon type really mattered. And chop this down. Yeah, you smash that. <clears throat> Not looking forward to having to use a weapon that isn't the spear. I'm pretty happy with my frost hammer now, which I got after I killed the boss. It is, I don't know. For a while, I was very resistant on having to carry a weapon of each weapon type because that sounded like a chore. And now that we're about 60 hours in, it's like, oh yeah, I just carry each weapon. This has been a pretty good haul. Wait. 
Didn't I have like 20 berries earlier? I must have read it wrong. That's too bad. I thought I was way more berry rich than we are. The thistles are a good find though. Have I killed boss number four? Yep. Started the show off with uh, an epic boss battle. We traded blows, but I was ultimately victorious. You know what? I don't even think I care about these anymore. I'm not even going to smash that egg. Oh, we're really close to home here. My love! Joe brought me a grilled cheese. Alright. We're gonna head home, drop off our berries, very quickly eat this grilled cheese sandwich. And then keep going. Uh-huh. Gonna go hide behind that tree? Okay. Berries. Good. Good. <clears throat> More berries. Ah, yes, bird. Scared the bird away. Mushrooms. So I still think we have to do a meadow search, get our get ourselves some red berries before we can go full jam. That was pretty good. Oh, did the, the, the coffee arrive already from Vancouver? Oh, that's very exciting. Well, that's very, very exciting. There was a conversation in the Discord about a very exciting coffee from India. And I've never tried coffee grown in India before. They're well known for tea. But, like, I didn't even, like... Never even considered India as a coffee growing region. So we ordered a bag because there is a roastery in Vancouver named 49th Parallel that was carrying it. 49th Parallel. I think I kind of goofed the language there a bit. And it's already arrived. So that's really, really exciting. A short grilled cheese break here. Give you that side shot. Yeah.
There's this fantastic new bakery that Joe's been going to that specializes in sourdough. And we've just been having so much good bread lately. And it looked fancy. Are there any extras? No. It's just like yellow grocery store cheddar, but really nice sourdough. And it's got a nice browning on the outside because Joe um, grilled... Um, we make our grilled cheeses on a pan. We're going to switch to Two Point Hospital after the grilled cheese. Um, probably after a proper lunch break. This is just a snack. So we'll do Two Point Hospital maybe around 1. I don't know. I don't have like a specific time in mind yet. Cheddar should not be that color. You're a white cheddar kind of person. The interesting thing is for the longest time, I grew up on yellow cheddar. I thought cheddar was supposed to be yellow. So when I, when I encountered like white cheddar for the first time, that really, really confused me until I realized that I guess I had it backwards. I don't know. I'm an actual cheddar kind of person who lives near Cheddar Gorge. What? Am I being champagned here? But for cheddar? It's only cheddar if it comes from the cheddar region of Gorge. Otherwise, it's yellow cheese. Otherwise, it's Kraft Singles. I have no idea. Otherwise, it's sparkling curds. Wow. American Canadian cheese is technically cheddar. All right. Wait, you thought yellow cheddar was standard cheddar or orange cheddar was? Whatever color this is, I call this yellow. Maybe it's orange. American cheese is a blend? Really? All right. Well, my snack grilled cheese is done. I'm going to very quickly wash my hands and let's get back into the game. Be right back. That was fantastic. Thank you very much for sticking around. Let's play more games. So here's our goal. Here's our goal. Goal number one, get red berries. Goal number two, make some jam. Then we want to head back to the plains, load up on black metal. You have to throw the horns. And then sail our boat back. And I wonder if I can get all of that done in the next hour. 
I think we can do it. I think we can do it. All right, so I want to find an meadow now. Where do I have a portal to a meadow? I guess it's Delta Camp still. Meadow might give us a chance to get some uh, some more feathers as well. Uh, damage doesn't resolve because it doesn't use the stack, Crocodile. Damage happens. But there might be better judges than me in chat who could also give more of a clarification on that. Snurge has been getting more and more poetic in his messages. He basically wrote a poem to me at the start of the stream. I wish I'd written it down. But look at that. Why can't I? I don't think chaos. Beautiful. Really shows the depth of Snurge's feelings. Bird. Did it fly away? Is there ever a bird? Sword of Stone Berry Duty. How y'all doing, chat? What's up? What's new with all of you? Obviously, you had some cheese opinions. That was fascinating. But outside of the world of cheese, any new and exciting updates with all of y'all? There it is. Yes. Snurge said, burn you like an angel. Dang kids in hunger. hunger. Remember friends. Oh man, Snurge. That'll be some sharp cheese. Yep. What is that noise? Oh, it's a boar. Hello. You got a COVID vaccination appointment on Monday? Ah. The rollout in Canada has, feels like it has slowed a little. So I will continue to not go anywhere. <laughs> I guess I'll just stay inside, not see anyone, keep waiting my turn. Slowed in February, it's starting to pick up again. Awesome. Right, right, right. Um, I think I think I saw the latest update. The reassurances. <clears throat> Pardon me. We haven't found a single berry yet. Oh! I just had to complain. Awesome. Hello, berries. Birds! Oh my god, so many birds. Okay, here's all our feathers. We already explored this one? Looking for a hidden chest. Might be too far underwater, unfortunately.
There it is. I don't know if that was worth. Dear Cheesemonger Surge, go on. What cheese would you use to coax a bear out of the woods? Camembert. Can't <laughs> not 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 in like rude ways. Can't tell what the joke is there. I'm going to assume that's too smart for me. Ah, more berries. Excellent. Pronounce it French. Oh, Camembert. I also like the instructions. Pronounce it French. Say it right. <laughs> Say it right, Frenchy. Chow there. I'll kill you. Ah, old Simpsons jokes. Alright, uh, 15 red berries. Not bad. So between that and the blue we got before, we should be able to make ourselves enough jam to do a good little hunting session. Hey, Gunner, thank you very much for 11 months. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you for the kind words. Yeah, this is another little burial thing. Would have been better if the Simpsons pokes at the future hadn't been so dead on. Yeah, you're like... Hold on a second. This was supposed to be a joke. Oh no. Why am I crying? Eat? Oh. Thought we could, uh, maybe Twinkle Toes dance our way across the river. No, it's fine, Answer Shock. Oh no. Alright, chat. In what cheese would you hide a small horse? Is this a riddle? This must be a riddle. Kitsune's like, don't do it. Don't you do it. Is there a Trojan cheese? Asks Joe from off camera. Malk is like, I'm back for the cheese puns. Oh no. <clears throat> Alright. Hit me. Awaits his ban. Too dumb to get it. Oh, Mascarpone. <sighs> oh, that was really bad. What format all cheese use? Wait, hold on. Do you know what format all cheese use in competitions? No. How does cheese compete? Swiss.
Uh-huh. Oh, no, I got it. I got it. It's, a turn it's like a bracket structure. Did I get it? Asks Joe from the other room. Wow. Thanks, sweetie. Could have seen that coming. You're all fired. Each and every one of you. Odds, you're also fired for allowing this to happen. Who else can I fire? Joe? No, Joe, I love you. Take it back. Everyone else is on notice. What do you mean I'm fired? Take over time, says Joe? You're outing your secret account, sweetie. Start our base here. What the? What is happening out there? What? All right. I apparently need to eat some real food and go bop a, a giant versus skeleton. Am I fine? I think I'm fine. Maybe I don't have to go bop anyone. All right. Good talk. Aaron Blademaster, gifting a sub to Joe. Thank you, friend. What is happening out there? Oh, it's party time. Hey. I love it. I love it. Throw that glitter. I like my puns like I like my cheddar extra sharp. Are they going to let me farm in peace? Survey is probably no. All right, let's let's go investigate. <clears throat> They're here. I'll meet you outside. Don't don't come in, please. Do you remember that big cheese sitcom from the what? In the 60s? I do not. What was the name of the big sitcom? <clears throat> the Munster? Lady McCall is just like, no! How dare you! <laughs> Did I miss a sub as well, sweetie? Whoa! Joe just pointed out that that was a six-month sub that Heron Blade Master hit there. That's so generous. Thank you, friend. Harry God. Oh. That's impossible! I just love how dramatic it is every time you parry something. Except poison. Can't parry poison. That's... Ah. You gotta go like super anime with it. 
That can't be! All these cheese puns are making you hungry. Might I suggest a grilled cheese? They're so in. Alright, time for me to plant carrots. It's so dark I can't see my carrots. You're out of bread? Oh, man. I don't know what to tell you. It's tragic. Joe from the other room. How long does it take dough to rise? You can always just eat the cheese by itself. Excellent, excellent point. Ah, it's not the same though. Honestly, it's not the same. Hey, I don't know if I've talked about this before. I'm gonna share my favorite open-faced sandwich with everybody. So you start, and it's open-faced. It's like a grilled cheese, but only half. So, bread, ketchup, next layer is ketchup, stay with me here chat, stay with me, bacon, then you put your cheese, then you put your cheddar on top, nice sharp cheddar, then a little bit of seasoning salt on top, that is so good. White or dark bread? I normally like a whiter bread on that. Cross his arms, go on. Oh yeah, and then you put that in the oven. A ketchup bacon buddy? What the, what, what's a buddy? My buddy used to make bologna sandwiches. But his bologna sandwich would be like bologna, bologna, and then like cheese and toppings in the middle of it. Like, that's not a sandwich. He would beg to disagree. Chekhov's cannon! Hello, raiders. Welcome, friends. Don't mind me, just planting some carrots. How's it going? How is your stream? You're having a very cozy day. How goes planting carrots? Oh, it's fascinating. I was trying to plant carrots peacefully, and then, like, a war happened outside. There were, um, gray dwarves, and a troll, and skeletons, and a couple of deers. It was a mess. TLDR. We had to sleep, and now we're, now we're just getting into our carrot duties right now. What were you streaming? The intern messed things up. It wasn't even an intern. These people just all showed up. Anyways, welcome everybody. Welcome to some cozy Valheim. I'm going to go to the plains biome after we're done growing all of these carrots. With the intention of trying to hunt goblins for their black metal. You have to throw up the horns. Legally obligated. And then we're going to sail a boat home. And then in under an hour, we're actually going to be switching over to some hashtag sponsored hashtag content. Which is very exciting, which is part two of our sponsored Two Point Hospital playthrough. Celebration of the new DLC. There's a carrot there. Streaming the Battle of West North. It's a turn-based tactical game. Cool. Turn-based tactical game. Very interesting. Never even heard of that game. Is it anything like Company of Heroes? What are your favorite games? Really? Open source turn-based strategy game with a high fantasy theme. Features both single player and online. Interesting. When did it come out? 
Is it like a newer game or an old school game? <clears throat> Originally released in 2003. Dang. Huh. Oh, we out of carrots? Or we're out of seeds? Good, 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 good. Steam about a year or two ago. Huh! Alright, we're gonna make ourselves some carrot stew. Soup. Soup. And then it's goblin hunting time. What other games do I like? I play a lot of... Strategy games. Strategy games, resource management games, city builders, Minecraft, uh, some RTX, some 4X. Basically, if you could use a spreadsheet or a Kanban board when you're playing the game, that's the type of game that I enjoy. Hey, JDB399, welcome. It's a weird way to qualify the types of games that I like to play. Why do I care about spreadsheets? What's wrong with me? Look, I'm just here to optimize. Uh, looks like we could also make a couple more of these sausages. You also make spreadsheets for fun? Okay, that's fair. I haven't beat Excel. Apparently, apparently there's a game in Excel. Which is very interesting to me. Have I heard of Aurora 4X? I have not. All right. Wonder if it's too late in the day to go out adventuring. Nah, this is fine. Have I played BattleTech? I I never got into that one. I heard good things about BattleTech, and I played a fair amount of BattleTech when I was younger. Yeah, the other thing is we have to. You know, we have to sort of balance the games that I enjoy with family friendly too, which which is normally not an issue as you know, as a genre resource management games typically don't deal with too much adult content. One of the things um, Cam spoke highly about BattleTech. We talked about how he enjoyed. It felt less punishing than XCOM with like the percentage chance to hits and stuff like that. Because in XCOM you have like, you know, 80% chance to hit. Miss. But in Battletech, you have an 80% chance to hit with 20 rocket launchers at the same time. I didn't expect to hit that one. So he felt it, it sort of balanced out the RNG. Coming, little buddy? I guess I'm coming to you. Have I heard of Wage of Wonders? I'm gonna maybe slow down the conversation because the, the quick snowballing of like, I can quickly get out of hand how many times I want to answer the question of have I heard X. I do appreciate it though. one seems to be a bit confused. Everybody's heard the bird is the word. Yes. Oh, this one doesn't know how to deal with the fact it's... Where am I being shot from? This is impossible. Every time I turn... It just keeps happening. 
Is it the Deskitos again? Oh, it's attack from a different angle. I wonder how many more of these I need. I think I have about 12 locks for. Somebody give me a ballpark number, like based on something ideally, of how much black metal I'm going to need. Is it realistic to try and farm up in this area? Or should I head back, gear up with the silver, and then prepare to take this on in another day? Poor things are so confused. Currently I have access to like seven. You don't need all that much? Okay. So I'll, I'll stay until I get like 20 or something like that. Achievement unlocked. You talked your wife into barbecue quesadillas. That's like a grilled cheese. That's totally like a grilled cheese. That counts. Yeah, Kate, that's... That's the grilled cheese without bread. Oh, yeah. Quesadilla is not really something that Joe and I make all that often. Ah, there we go. Black metal is like a stack at most for a person for the base layer or also including the upgrades that you want. We have tortillas lying around. Nice. Yeah. Is that a totem beside it? Oh, I can like two tap these things. Oh, they're throwing things back. Rude. What is that? Who's that large red friend? All right, quick while they're busy. Oh, they're attacking me. There's like four of them. Mm, let's try switching to the axe. Ow. Oh. Oh no, we're dying. And the death Skeeto joined too? Okay. Okay. <laughs> that was risky. Uh, did we get everything? At 3 hours and 22 minutes, Sparky calls it a draw and booted Amy? Oh, that's hilarious. All right, um, that's obviously some type of leader. It's a two-star berserker. You know what? If I'm ever going to fight my first berserker, may as well be a two-star, right, chat? Is it healing? Can't be any harder than a troll.
one. <clears throat> We're dead. Can't block the can't block the death skeeto, have to parry it. Alright, uh Death Skeeto the second. Alright, Berserker, kinda scary. Two star Berserker and two mosquitoes. Too scary. <clears throat> nice try, Berserker, but off by one. They got there in the Edren, Wesley. We shouldn't have taunted them. Do you think we could have taken them if it wasn't for the Deskitos? That thing, that thing was zoomy. Like, I wasn't... I wasn't gaining any distance on it. It was going to chase me to the ends of the earth until I was dead. Berserker kind of spooky. Maybe I should have grabbed poison arrows. Eh. You typically use three people to hunt down the berserkers because they're nasty. That, like, triple attack? Oh, that's really awkward that's mega awkward it's okay they didn't see me I was doing fine until I got clipped can you really say getting clipped when I got hit for 99.9% .9 of my health when I go from 130 hit points to 1 is that being clipped or is that being bopped <laughs> <clears throat> We gotta have a, a stronger word than clipped when that happens. Oh, the Berserker's still here. Is it fighting the Death Skeetos? No, it's just walking home. That's a good wallop. <laughs> Alright, so I have five of these. <clears throat> We call that getting dunked on. All right, perfect. I will avenge myself. I will avenge myself. Got him. Maybe, maybe we try and kill everyone but the Berserker. Everyone but the two-star Berserker. Like, check out this shot. Can you believe I hit that? I can't either. There's a lot of y'all. I need to kill the one that's almost dead. Can't believe he blocked that. There we go. So yeah, we'll just harass the opposite side of the village from where the Berserker is. Got him. I wonder if there's anything in there that we want to take. So what are we at? Eight. We want a full stack, right? Ooh, a one star. 
kind of goods and services do you offer? Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Can't parry that one. Good stuff. Drop two. All right. So we have ten. <gasps> I saw it at the last second because I was not paying attention. Oh, there's metal on the ground there. Wow, how did I miss that? We'll do some math and see if we have enough or if we should keep farming this village before we sail home. I think I have less than 20. Right? Isn't it amazing that when you parry a ranged attack, that's why I got that, that anime thing from it's like, that's unbelievable. That's impossible, right? Like, I don't think they're they're being staggered. I think they're just so shook. They're just realizing they've picked a fight with the parry god. Isn't math one of those things you should never do on stream? Try and avoid it whenever possible. Can't be off by one if you don't count. And what I'm really excited to do is grab the... Um, that new god of saline? This is not your biome, Death Skeeto. Try that new god of sailing, where you always have the tailwind. God, that sounds so nice. We have 20. Ooh, we have 20. Remember the amount I said I probably have less than? Turns out I had exactly 20. What are we at for... Um, leather for the large fellas too? 16 is not bad. It's a respectable number. I haven't tried to craft anything with them yet, but sure, sure we're getting there. Oh yeah, can you imagine in PvP getting staggered for somebody blocking your arrow? And they run up and kill you and you're like, that doesn't even make sense! Amazing. I bet you poison arrows would be pretty OP in PvP. Wait, no, they just chug a potion. People coming up with like no potion rules for PvP. Alright, so we've been given a goal, and that goal is 30 of the uh the black metal. So 30 it is. I should probably have more arrows than 18 on me. Just gonna just gonna throw that one out there randomly. Could be using the needle. Nah, we'll save needles for later. Wait! Or what if I use needles now? It's 10 additional damage. Oh, and it has more knockback. Speaking of more knockback, alright. Let's take a look at this new bow that people tell me to check out. 
I need silver, I, I can't build it yet. The Draugr Fang. Yeah, okay. Oh, 10 Gook. Really? Finally a reason to get Gook. 47 Pierce. Currently do 42. Comes with Poison. Has a Movement Speed penalty. Oh, we already have that. All right, let's get 10 more. That's the goal. That bow is strung with glistening sinew. What a mouthful those two words are. Listening sinew. Oh. Hello. Bop. AKA slimy string. Deer come from. Awkward. Oh. So have the fooling, foolings, have the goblins domesticated the aurochs? What's the, what's the story here? You'd imagine they'd be wearing like super sweet, like big bushy fur outfits if they had domesticated them though. rather than running around shirtless. They have them in their villages and protect them. Really? They even have fields? Okay, well that's kind of cute. Oh, they could be domesticated for their milk and meat rather than their clothing. That's fair. Just why are they so fuzzy? Seems a slimy string would make the bow hard to pull. No, no, no. It makes the arrow extra slippery. That's a thing in archery, right? Let it fly smoother. Herb. Herb got away. That's not how archery works? Are you sure? Look, who's holding the bow right now? Me or you? Well, it'd be bad if the arrow stuck to the string. You're holding a mouse and keyboard. I... Shh! You're ruining the whole illusion here! Wow. Need you to come outside, please. My immersion, right? How did that miss? People call me the bow god. The 
Okay, I blame... I blame the camera for that one. Oh no. Berserker's looking at me. Dion Crossroads. How are you doing today? I wonder what that is. Oh, did I just one shot that? Oh, no, no, no. That was just the, the sneak attack crit noise. Excellent. We got uh nope 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 nope. You scared me off. Oh I did not scare you off. And my winning son. I'm doing okay. I'm having a great day. I'm having a very good day. I'm going to try and fight this berserker again, which is almost certainly a mistake. Uh, let's try slowing it down. Let's not fight this again. <laughs> fighting fighting the berserker is obviously a path to failure. Wow, we got just splatted. We got bopped. <laughs> I think I agree, Jer. We did almost have it. If you looked at its health and our health. Have we tried talking it out with the berserker? It's called a berserker, not a talker. How you doing, Jer? Hope you're doing well, bud. It's a good question, Joe. Whenever you're ready, basically, my love. Have you tried simply not getting hit, forehead? Yes. It crossed my mind, Vez. Aaron Blade Master, thank you very much for gifting a sub to Jer. Haven't seen grass? Yeah, you live in Ontario now. The land of the ice and snow. Alright. We've learned our lesson, and we will never again pick a fight. Oh god, there's death mosquitoes between me and my body. We will never again pick a fight with a berserker. That particular berserker. It's actually a little spooky. Is it a Grey Dwarf? Have you tried? Look, there's no signs from Ulf telling me to fear the Berserker, okay? Only the Grey Dwarfs. Alright, as long as we're not being spawn camped, everything is fine. So we have to ask ourselves, are we being spawn camped? Okay, Berserker is honorable. It's good to know, it's good to know. Seven. Alright, let's get three more and we'll have our full stack and then we sail home. Little did he know... He was being spawn camped.
What happens if the Berserker picks a fight with me? Oh, it's always... I've always been the one instigating. Berserker's pretty chill. What is happening in there? What is this weird magic we're seeing, chat? They have shamans. Do they also throw their hands up in the air and party like the, uh, the other ones do? Wow, this thing can tank. It's... Alright. Nine. One more. One more. They have the prettiest lights. Wow. Alright, we've got ourselves a full stack. I'm gonna try poking the shaman. Are they in bubbles? Wait, did they? They put themselves in bubbles? Hey, what's up, Koo? Thank you for 18 months. Sir, just poking me. I see how it is. Ooh, they throw fireballs. Okay. I wonder how long the bubble lasts. Okay, the fireballs are AoE. Shaman's easy, chat. Easy fight. I don't feel like it dropped much, though. All right. We have our 31 black metal. Let's get home. Why are we collecting Yoda heads? No idea when they're going to come in handy. Berserker time? No, as we said, we don't mess with the Berserker. Berserker and I have a healthy respect for one another. And that's why I'm leaving. You know, game respect game, right? Let's hunt one more of these on our way out. They're so confused. Feel kind of bad. Yeah, patch note. Locks will no longer get confused when being shot by arrows. You died. <clears throat> I think I've died to a locks. more water, my love.
Yeah, they're neither fleeing nor fighting. They're just kind of walking around in confused circles, right? We can check the death sheet. We do have a source of truth for all of this. You're not wrong. Uno! Hi, friends! How you doing? Welcome, Raiders. What were you up to today, Uno? What were you streaming? Appreciate you swinging on by, bringing your community by. Minecraft Direwolf 20. Playing around with Create. Create is the one that had all of those, like, um, windmills. It had that very, ah, it had that very appealing, um, like, promo trailer, right? Yeah, the cogs. That's a good thing. Because, like, other things have conveyors in Minecraft, right? But the cogs, that was a big one. Welcome, everybody. I'm Surge. We're playing some Valheim. We are farming the planes, as a lot of people do on planes. Ah! I was going to get that, too. Stupid Grey Dwarf. If you like Two Point Hospital... Stick around, because we're going to be doing a sponsored stream of the new content a little bit after lunch. Wait, can I not pick... Oh, I have a death mosquito trophy. Oh, I hate that. It looks like a plague doctor's mask. Oh, wow. What do you think of that, chat? Do not like. Can you wear the trophies? Thank goodness you can't. Can you imagine running around with a Lux hat on? Gonna go sort out some food. Have a good one, Uno. We haven't found any information about the fifth boss yet. We killed the fourth boss today. And uh, now we're gonna now we're getting ourselves geared out with stuff from the planes. Oh yeah, Uno, you have to eat cheese. What well, have you decided? Today is Cheese Day, honorary International Cheese Day. Quesadilla, grilled cheese, poutine, take your pick, but it has to be cheesed. French onion soup. It's got enough cheese in it. It counts. Jobot. With the year. Friends, we have another butter bean. Love to get some hearts in chat. Celebrate a year of support. Thank you so much, friend. Where in Canada would one go to eat the best poutine? Arguably Quebec. where it's from. I don't know. What if it's one of those things like people saying Chicago isn't actually the home of the best deep dish pizza. If you want really good deep dish pizza, you got to go to Boston. I, I've never been to Boston. I don't know if that's correct or not, but you know what I mean? Somebody steps up with the actual knowledge. I gotta let you in on a secret. Nope, never been to PAX East. I've been to exactly two PAXin. Well, sorry, uh, two conventions multiple times though. I've been to South twice. 
And I've gone to west quite a few times, actually. Oh, I have too many heads. Sentence I just said. put our harpoon did we leave it in the boat because we're gonna try and get we're gonna try and get ourselves a um a sea serpent on the way home but you have sea serpent at home never really understood all the gatekeeping for food items is good for yeah I feel you there, friend. It's interesting. There's like a fine line between a recommendation of like, oh, you want to try a good thing here? You have to go here. Versus if you eat it from this place, you are arguably wrong. Also, what's up, Martin? What up, Matt? How you doing, friend? I also like the capitalization of your name. Oh, we have a very important sub here. Thank you for that prime and five months. Yeah, like what you like, share the things that you love. Don't yuck anyone else's yum. Strong points to live your life by. All right, it's time to sail. <laughs> Brooke, you're like, I'm, I'm picky. There's not a lot of food I like. Let me just eat. Ah. Bez just noticing his diamond bean. Sorry, what the heck just happened? Um. Did a bunch of donations? What the? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did I miss this? What the heck is this? Attack of the Lady donated $10. AM Reaper donated $50. Steve donated $31. Mexican Batman donated $19. AM Reaper with $100 versus Tiltify. Boss Hands with $50. What? What is this? $100 dono? Did this happen? What? I don't know what these messages were. Like, no alerts or anything. And like, these aren't chat messages. What? Just a hundred dollar womp womp for the pie? Holy moly, what's up, friends? Check the back end, yeah. Because we didn't get those in Steam either. What the, through Tiltify? What is Tiltify? How do I not get these notifications? Wait, hold on. They're gone now. I'm confused. Maybe, I don't know. Thank you, I think? Didn't notice anything there though. They all disappeared now. If it was in good faith, I really appreciate it. And uh, that's tremendously generous. And if it wasn't, I have no idea. 
Sounds like the fake donation things that have been going around. Well, that that sometimes happens too. In which case, hmm. <laughs> All right, so here's our goal. I don't know. It's it's interesting for it to manage to like trick the the alerts to show. But they also all went away. Alright, what's the easiest way to get home? I think we head back south. And then we start sailing this way. There's a rock right in the way. I love how hard our head is that we can literally push a boat away. That, on the other hand... That was a donation that I did hear. Bad Panda with five bucks. Does this message go through? It does. And Raven with 50 bits have some not fake cargo bits. Thank you very much. Yeah, and I immediately got an email confirmation for the uh, the five dollars there too. Ah, uh, well, it looks like there may have been some bad some bad apples over there trying to goof us. What do you mean my power isn't ready? appear to be not moving. And I appear to have pushed myself back into that rock. Could it also be a platform bug? I'd feel super bad if they were legitimate donations and I was kind of being a butt right now. But, you know, so it goes. It's also very interesting that a group of people would coordinate for donos. All right, let's sail on home, friends. Sail on home. Do I use Tiltify for anything? No. No, I don't. Which also makes it a little bit strange. Maggie, and thank you for a $5 dono as well. Appreciate that. Yeah, the donos don't seem to be showing up in chat, but they are triggering the overlay, which is interesting. Brooke just bones with $10. Thanks for the great content. Thank you very much, friends. I really do appreciate the support. Maybe the account got confused and it's someone else's, hence the pie comment. They all got deleted. The unfortunate nature of the platform is people do act that way. Yeah. Right. There was uh, there was a tweet going around. I shared it the other day of a bunch of fake donations. I assume they were chat fake donations, though. Not some way to, like, trick the system. The rallying cry, though. Bunch of people being like, fake donations. We're going to drown it out with positivity. And I do appreciate that. I have problems with donations, and that's because I donate too hard. When you first showed up at the community, Lady McCall, you're like, hi. And I was like, what, what the heck? You're just like mega generous. Oh. Obviously, you know, make sure everyone is within their means. Oh! Is the wind on our side now or no? Why do I give a donation in euros? Do you get it in Canadian, but it shows on the stream in US? All amounts show on the stream in, in US. Um, even though I get paid in Canadian. Even in death, Motor still cries. Wow, that's metal. Yeah, so uh, PayPal, I have set up to have a USD balance and a Canadian balance. Because for the longest time, uh, Patreon and Twitch would only pay out in US. Uh, they have changed it though, so you get paid in your usual currency. 
which does save me, I think it's like, I think you get dinged by like the, a transfer fee when it happens. There's like a very small, it's like a couple percent currency processing fee when they did that. Remember several years ago, Paul Chang got a fake donation for several thousand dollars. Largest donation I've ever received on stream was for $500. Um, ben and I were doing a multi-pal stream together and this person donated $500 to both. And I was so sad because I was, I was suspicious. I was immediately suspicious. I was just like, I've never seen this person before. They hadn't followed the channel before. Um, and I've never seen them since. They just rolled in and dropped that. And so before, this is a Joe's advice too, before I allowed myself to actually like say that that money was in my pocket, I had to wait for the full, I think it's like 60 days or something like that. There's a chargeback window that you can't, you can't like charge back the money after a certain point. You can't claim it's fraudulent or whatever. Yeah. But that's not to say that there haven't been people who've been amazingly generous. And I and I really appreciate that. And it's amazing. And it's tough to balance that of wanting to, like, be unbelievably grateful. So, yeah. It's complicated. Obviously very complicated. thing trolls used to do? Yes. One of the reasons um, trolls aren't doing it as much is the payment providers, like PayPal, they're like, no, you can't charge this back. So the chargeback issue, it wasn't $5,000, Felon. I think it was an Australian kid who charged like $50,000. It was absurd. It was tens of thousands of dollars that they were tipping to, to streamers or other content creators and then tried to charge it back, and then the payment providers are like, Nope! No, that was malicious. There's no fraud that happened here. And then the kid's parents being like, Oh no! And it's like this whole kerfuffle that happened all about this. It's like, obviously it wasn't the kid's money. But he was also given an unlimited credit card. Uh, I want to give back to the people I care about, especially during these times. I do appreciate that. I really do appreciate that. So I have, um, I have friends who have, how old is their daughter, like 15 or 16? And there's this really tricky situation they run into because she's, she's the one friend in her group who doesn't have access to a credit card. And it'll be super tough because I remember my friend talking about like making dinner for her daughter and her friends. And like, as she was about to be done, a skip the dishes driver showed up and dropped off dinner and her friends... Her friends just ordered skip on the credit card. And you're like, well, that was brutal. Like, cool. Shows all kinds of weird problems of like competing with your kids in terms of access to wealth, setting boundaries, the disrespect there. I don't know. It's gotta be tough. It's gotta be so tough now having kids, cell phone, the internet, credit cards, Uber Eats. Y'all are doing great. Hey, exactly as intended. Thank you for the gift sub to Lady Desco. Appreciate that. Remember, shout out to Joe for the YouTube uploads. <laughs> Thank you for the 50 Joe bits, Joe Bot. Any relation, Joe Bot? Is this an account just to thank Joe for all her hard work? I'd be down. Joe, Joe says maybe, are you just a Joe buddy? Is it two Joes? Yeah, I've also heard of people who just like make content of donation bombing people. I've also heard of that. They'll do really weird contests where they'll just sit there and they'll be like, all right, first streamer to blink. 
gets a thousand dollars. You know, it's absurd stuff like that. I don't know where my. I definitely don't have my trident on me, which is too bad in case we encounter a sea serpent. Oh, it used to be Pencilia. You also go by Joe. Joe recognized Joe. Nice. It's another Jojo. Yeah. <laughs> if I ever have kids, my children won't have access to anything fancier than a rotary landline until high school. Amazing. Feel honored to have a kid I don't have to worry about for that regard. Amazing. Joe and Joe's Twitch adventure. Wow. One of my favorite things is a speedrunner who donates hundreds of dollars to streamers if they can manage to pull off complicated speedrun skips in their games. Heck yeah. Okay. Um, home is basically exactly the way the wind is telling us not to go. Cool game. Oh, right. This is our... That's our mountain. Wow, I don't know why I said it like that. This is our mountain portal. Reminds me of how speedrun communities put together collective bounties to pay people to find specific skips. Neat. We live in a strange and wondrous time. All right, chat. We're going to try some night sailing tonight and see how that goes for us. No, I'm going to I'm going to jump out and I'm going to get my trident. That's what we're going to do. And then hopefully the wind changes. I love how I just 180'd. We're going to tough it out. Wait. My spear. Maybe we put it by our bed. Yes. Okay, there it is. We have the trident back. Uh, let's use the remaining daylight on that island to uh, search for berries. It's a portal to adventure. So let's test this. Okay, it's been harpooned. I can switch weapons. Okay. Oh, right. Delicious lunch is here. Ah, lunch is here is bad. I'm hungry, but I'm not home. I wanted to get home. No, let's go with the let's go with the timing, the natural timing of the day and with the meals. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I think we're actually going to call it here for Valheim for the day. We have found ourselves in a boat. Our boat is loaded up with riches. We've got our harpoon and we'll start our next stream maybe tomorrow. I might take tomorrow off. I've been working a lot lately, especially with the added uh, sponsored content. But yeah. And we'll start the stream by sailing our way home and then crafting up all of our new stuff. And I think that should be a lot of fun. And uh, tell sort of a neat story there. So yeah, I mean, thank you for those of you for hanging out and watching the Valheim content. But please consider sticking around after our lunch break. We will be doing some more sponsored Two Point Hospital. But yeah, you're wonderful. You're all the wonderful. And I appreciate your watching. So see you next time.